Hello, and welcome to episode 112 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'll be reviewing a game from my past, Pole Position. Pole Position was released in 1982 by Nameco and licensed to Atari. My first time playing this game was at Fun Times Square in hometown Illinois. Pole Position is a racing game in which you control a Formula 1 race car with the steering wheel as well as an accelerator and a gear shift. You have entered your car into a race at the Fuji Speedway. You need to qualify your car in order to enter the main event. The game begins with the display of the track. It shows the layout of the track as well as the direction you race. The track begins with a long front stretch, then a hairpin turn to the right, followed by a gentle bend to the left. After the turn in a short stretch, you'll have a wide 180 degree turn to the right, followed by another short straight stretch, followed by another hairpin turn to the left, followed by a long gradual right turn back to the front stretch and back to the start finish line. The total length of the track is 2.709 miles or 4.359 kilometers. After the display of the track and a short fanfare, the screen will change to a first person view of the track. You will then see the Atari blimp fly across the top of the track towing a banner saying prepare to qualify. After the blimp leaves the screen, the light tower above the start finish line will appear, then the green lamp will light up, then the qualifying lap will begin. Once you begin, the game clock will begin clicking down. You will have between 90 to 120 seconds based on management settings. The clock will click down one unit approximately every two thirds of a second. If the clock reaches zero, your game will end. You need to press the accelerator to get your car to go. You need to begin going with your shifter in low gear or you won't accelerate as fast. Once you are rolling as fast as you can in low gear, you need to shift into high gear to get maximum speed. Once you begin racing, you need to keep your tires on the asphalt because if you drive over the red and white rumble strips, you will slow down costing you time. You need to either let up on the accelerator or downshift when you are making the sharp turns or you will hit the rumble strips or go off the track and that will cost you time. You will have the track to yourself for about the first 10 seconds, then you will encounter the other cars that are trying to qualify for the main event. You need to avoid these cars because if you crash into one of them, your car will explode costing you time although it will return to the track in about 3 seconds. You need to turn as quick of a lap as possible in order to qualify for the main event. You need to turn the lap in 73 seconds or less to make the race. Your starting position will be determined on your lap time. The quicker the time, the closer to the front you will begin the main event. If your qualifying time is slower than 73 seconds, you will continue to race against the clock, although the game timer won't allow for the completion of a second lap. If you qualify for the main event, your car will be lined up along with the other cars that also qualified for the main event. The lights on the start finish line will begin counting down to green. The lights will count down three red lamps, then the green lamp will light. Once the green lamp lights up, the race will begin. Just like the qualifying lap, you need to begin accelerating in low gear, then shift to high gear when you reach top speed for the low gear. The race will play similarly to the qualifying event, although there will be more cars on the track. There will also be obstacles such as water puddles on the track, which will cause you to break traction and slow down. You need to avoid these puddles to keep up your speed. Crossing the start finish line will award you extra time on the game timer. If you are able to complete three laps, there will be a girl waving a checkered flag signifying the race is complete. By completing the race, you will be awarded bonus points for every car you pass, as well as every unit you have on the game timer. Management has the setting to allow for a four lap race as opposed to three laps. This game is one of, if not the first game, to feature product placement. Throughout the track, there will be signs with advertisements on them. The Japan release had advertisements such as Marlboro cigarettes, Pepsi Cola, and Champion spark plugs. These were sponsors of Formula 1 racing at the time, although when the game was brought to the United States, these billboards were replaced with Atari games that were in arcades at the time such as Centipede and Dig Dug, as well as advertisements for Atari and Nameco. Scoring for the game is as follows. You earn 10 points for each unit your car moves forward. These points will be based on distance, so the faster you move, the faster you will rack up the points. You'll earn 50 points for each car you pass during the main event, and you'll earn 200 points per unit on the clock for completing the main event. You'll earn bonus points based on what position you begin the main event. If your qualifying lap is 73 seconds or less, you'll begin in the 8th starting position and receive 200 points. If you qualify in 70 seconds or less, you'll earn the 7th starting position and 400 points. If you qualify in 68 seconds or less, you'll earn the 6th starting position and 600 points. If you qualify in 66 seconds or less, you'll earn the 5th starting position and 800 points. If you qualify in 64 seconds or less, you will earn the 4th starting position and 1000 points. 
If you qualify in 62 seconds or less, you'll earn the third starting position and 1,400 points. If you qualify in 60 seconds or less, you'll start in the second position and earn 2,000 points. And if you qualify in 58.5 seconds or less, you'll earn the pole position and receive 4,000 points. I like playing this game, although I was never good at it, although I highly recommend playing it, especially if you can find it in an arcade setting, since emulation doesn't do the game justice. I like this game more than Crazy Balloon, but not as much as Wizard of War, so Pole Position races its way into the 68th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember hit like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Sunday.